Trials and tribulations. Trials and turbulations. Trials and turbulations. University provides such experiences from sheer existential crisis to academic humbling to friendships. Maria Victoria Pace, the women of woman, the woman who survived these trials and turbulations, returns to provide to you the ultimate guide to survive university. Be wary. Do not sign your house with people you've just met the first week of uni. I know people who panicked and signed their house with very quickly. They don't like their housemates. Their housemates do not like them. There's going to be housing unless you live in a really shit unit. Don't buy the freshers bands. No one actually goes to these events. You're wasting 60 pounds. LinkedIn. Get on the LinkedIn grind now. Employers love LinkedIn. Don't buy too much kitchenware. You're not going to use it. You are not going to bake unless you are already a baker. If you like alcohol and clubbing, try do it all in first year because you're going to get to second year and unless you have the body of a beast, you're going to have one glass of wine and it's going to kill you off. There's a collective shift in everyone's behaviour that they've assumed this grandmother, grandpa, senior citizen-esque vibe. Last year, I loved a pipe. This year, I love audiobooks. Things change. But don't have too much because you might get a stomach ulcer. If you don't like alcohol, don't be forced to drink it. There are people there who don't actually drink alcohol. Join a society. You're going to miss the structure of school. You're going to actually envy people going to school because it's so easy to make friends at school. You sit next to your mate in class, you can see your mates in lunchtime. At uni, it's so much harder to have friends. <laughs> society has helped you have that structure. I've joined rugby. We train every Monday, Friday. We have a game on Wednesday. We have a social on Wednesday. It's easy to keep up that friendship allocate a day where you do your laundry or you clean the bathroom every sunday i always clean the bathroom it keeps me sane when you're at uni there's so many things that you're overloaded and you need to do at least i have a day to do like specific tasks get on uni days oh the the discounts i get bonzo money pots oh my god the most brilliant things ever come to existence the reason why you can go so wrong with budgeting is because you overcomplicate it let's say every week you get a budget let's say 100 pounds do the 50 30 20 rule 50 pounds on your necessities 30 pounds on the things you want 20 pounds on savings put it in an isa ices are great put it as an emergency fund money pots how much amount you put into that can change accordingly however they are great for you to know where your money is going as a student hell it's so easy to go over the money if you're really bad save a pound a day a 50p a day all right there is this book called atomic habits which i have been reading and absolutely with one of the tips was make the habit so simple so small that it doesn't even feel like you're doing anything making it so small reduces the friction of the habit being performed then from 50p you can progress to 55p to then so many p's you have an aston martin go to your lecture about your essay plan i got a 54 that's a 2 2 to a first class 70 first class how why i spoke to the lecturer I spoke to the lecturer. I increased in the same topic within the year. Through a one hour talk. Take that into account. In other words, just speak to your lecturer, because they will be the ones marking your essay anyways. Bibliography mining. Wow. This is primarily for like writing essay based subjects or even maybe stem subjects you look in an article you see oh my gosh this guy has cited someone else let me go see what this guy said then you read that article and then now you have two sources that you can synthesize together you've expanded your essay your points it, it's so great to find like research this a4 sheet it's brilliant it's absolutely bloody brilliant. Let's say I have an essay due on Friday and I'm gonna work like write a hundred words a day for the next couple days. Literal all right? Keep it simple. It's just, just use it. Use it, it's amazing. Hello, my name is Abby Dixon and I am in the manifestation of Adam. Get every single benefit you can from the uni. First year grades don't actually count to your final degree, but 
they could pull you up to another grade boundary if needs be. Most universities have discretionary zones which could be lowered if you get a PEC, IA's request for extension or consideration, because of your situation which could be impacting your studies negatively, no matter how small. Let's say you finish third year with a 68. That could be pulled up to a 70. Look at funding opportunities. Newcastle offers a hardship fund you do not need to pay back. Many are not aware of this fact. Yeah.